Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Of course, sending you the purest of love and light as always. So, Soul Trivers, I just want to remind you again about this flower, as I mentioned in a previous video. I hope you can see it clearly here. It's a round shape. So this is Rose Forever. It's a company based in New York. Born in 2019, they make luxurious rose boxes of 100% natural fresh roses, including roses from Ecuador. And they're, they're known for being one of the best quality in the world that lasts over a year. So as I said, it's been over a year that I have this. And it, sm it still smells and it says they use natural oil to preserve their roses, no chemicals. So if you have allergies, you don't have to worry about it. The rose, they come in different shape boxes, round, square, and even heart shape and in different sizes as well. These, the boxes, as you can see, they're covered in material that are that is made from vegan suede and velvet and as I mentioned before it's allergen free someone was asked someone left a comment asking what's the price and of course the price varies it varies on the size the shape what you're looking for so I'll leave the link in the comment section as well as the description box and you can click on that treat yourself you deserve it or even give it as a gift to somebody you care about again this is like the gift that keeps on giving you don't have to re keep on replacing replenishing or water in it and it is still fresh still looking good so i certainly hope you'll take the time to check it out and not only that but you deserve it you know give yourself a treat so well let's get back to the program right so welcome if it's your first time returning soul tribers thank you for your love and your support it is truly and greatly appreciated as well so here we're gonna see what our angels what is God helping us with protecting us from and right off the bat in my pre-shuffle, the, these cards fell out. The first one is the Queen of Wands. It says the Hidden God. When I see the Hidden God, it's reminding me of the moon. The moon. It's the things that we don't know about in the spiritual realm. So it doesn't matter what people do. They cannot hide from God. A lot of people do things in secret thinking that God is not seeing them. The unseen eyes of God is always watching us. Always. So the queen of wands, you're somebody, you're very powerful, you're strong, you're a fighter, you're a warrior. For a lot of you, it's like getting your groove back. Your confidence, you're driven, you're passionate, very creative. And for a lot of you, it's this power that you exude. You have divine power within you. And God is here to guard you against any mental troubles. So if anybody is trying to send you mental conflict to have you all up in your head, stress, you may feel like you're having headache and other feelings. God is here. He's seen everything that is going on in the dark. And he's revealing it to you. He's revealing it to us. And not only that, you need to know, as usual, as always, we are blessed, we are highly favored, we are anchored, we are secured, and we are protected. We are protected. It's like with the angels, with the wings there, we are protected. God is covering us. God is covering us. So whatever they're trying to do, God is here to protect us against any mental conflict. Again, remember your own energy. It's like people don't want you to feel yourself. They don't want you to stand in your truth and your confidence. To feel empowered. 
They don't want you to realize who you are, that you have divine power within you. Because Jesus said the same power that raised him from the dead, it's within us. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That is what we have. That is that power that is within us. And as the queen of ones, you have that power. And it's that god confidence that exudes in your aura, in, in your essence. And people may be trying to knock the shine off of you because they think you're too much. And they're going in the spiritual realm, doing things, thinking that they are smart. God does not see what they're doing. But yes, the hidden God he sees everything. It's like the other day I was looking, I saw the tale, uh, I was reading that the eye of God is high, will guide us. And I know there are other scripture verses that talks about the eyes of God, but that particular passage was talking about, it just mentioned is eye. And I'm like, your eye, you don't need two, you don't need two eyes like we do and I'm like wow the all-seeing eye of God and you see society the world makes it seem as if the all-seeing eye it's something scary it's spooky you know it's like the third eye is like the awakening is like seeing in the spirit and this is why a lot of you a lot of us people are reeling because when you were telling them the truth about themselves or what was happening around them or going to happen to them, what is going on, you didn't have a deck of cards doing it. God was showing you the things that are hidden, the things that people were able to, to think that they're hurting us or hiding from us. God revealed everything to us. Again, he sits high, but he looks low. He protects us. There is no conversation. And I mean, I just want to say politely, nicely to all wicked people, all evil people, if this will help you any, you are not fooling anybody. You're fooling yourself because there is no gathering. There is no meeting. There is nothing that you are doing or can do that God is not aware of. You may say you're hiding from the collective, but see the collective has God on his or her side and that's enough. That is all we need. Myself plus God is everything. It's everything. It's all that matters. So yes, God is here to remind you that when you're feeling some kind of way about yourself, because whatever force or energy they're sending towards you it makes you want to feel give to give up not so confident not so sure of yourself not sure of your gifts your talents your abilities and divine wants to remind you to shake it off shake it off you have divine power within you and easier to protect you from all mental so everything all those swords that they're sending they may form but they will not they cannot prosper don't let them don't allow them to you have the heads up you have we have divine we have god on our side and again send those things back to the owner it's not for us return it to the owner and then we have five of cups so with this queen of wands it's like people want you to live in regrets it's like looking back you know it's like that story with lot wife god told them to leave leave that city sodom and gomorrah but instead of pushing forward it's like looking back at what she's leaving behind what she's missing you know, she probably hears somebody cry out and it sounds like her neighbor's voice. And, you know, she looked back and wanting to see what was going on. She turned into a pillar of salt. And that's what happened when we keep looking back, having regrets, crying over spilt milk. We can't heal. And it's like these people want to pull you back. 
into their traps. They want to lower your vibration because then it's like, if you are not this confident queen of wands and guys, remember it's an energy. Okay. We all have both energies. Okay. So if people want to pull you back from being so confident and so sure of yourself, your security, your stability, not being creative and passionate, not dr being driven, going after what you're going on, they want you to drop that big stick because that wand is you have it to protect you. They want you to let your guard down. So that means you will entertain them again. And then it's like, you are now this distorted masculine or feminine. They can walk over you. They can have their way over you. You're a tramp. You're a trollop. You, are, you have no respect for yourself. It's kind of like how people were able to use you and manipulate you. You know, before we realize who we were or who we are, right? They want to get you back even lower. They want to pull you back down in the mud. So you will play with them. So it's like they want to let you be keep looking at the past, not remembering that you have two cups behind you. You have more than enough. You have more than enough. And I know it's like cups, it's us, it's emotions. And a lot of us, our feelings run deep. It's like when you love, you love hard. When you care for people, you go hard. But you know, but, and at the same time, it hurts. It hurts us when we are disappointed or people do things to us, you know? So it's like, don't allow people to get you caught up in your feelings or trapped. So with the five of cups, it says God, King and ruler is knowing that God is the King is the author, the alpha, the omega, the finisher of our faith. And he's here with prosperity, destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage to set you free, to set you free. There is, it's like, there is nothing to regret because where you're going, it's going to be bigger, better. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It wasn't meant for us to stay stuck, to stay strapped where we were born. It's like we're meant to keep pushing, not to be stagnant. It's like don't send down roots all, you know, in places. We're ambassadors for Christ. We're on the move. It's like don't become too clingy or attached. So for a lot of you, it's like you're, you could have been worrying about your money, your finances, and people could have been doing things to manipulate that as well. And so God is here to bring destruction to the enemies and to deliver you from bondage. So whatever they want to have, you know, their ceremonies, their ritual to keep you trapped, to keep you stuck in, in, in whatever line, poverty in your mind, having regrets and all of this stuff, God is here to set you free, to deliver you and also to give them what's theirs destruction is going to come to the people who came after you or who are coming after you right now with this knight of ones here god the good in himself again protection prevents discovery of secret crimes saves exiles so god is here to protect you so again people may have been planning things you know, to unalive you and do mischievous things out there. And God is here to save us. You could have been an outcast from a group, a community, feel like an outcast from society. God is here to save you. He's here to save you. And he's protecting you. And he's preventing you from anything or protecting you from anything that these people are plotting or trying to carry out to you in the quiet. A lot of you are, are, are queen of pentacles, the eternal God, intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensation. So again, like I said before, people could have wanted you to be trapped in your finances because again, if you are doing something that is creative, 
that requires you to be creative, to be passionate, to be driven. And you have people who are trying to work on that, to manipulate that so you can't produce, you see. God is here to pay you, to give you that stability, to compensate you, to provide consolation. You know, it's like to hold you because it's like people are trying to to, to hurt us or shake us where they think it will hurt the most. But again, it's when you know that your help comes from God. God is your source. And like David said, I was young and now I am old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seeds begging bread. And that's the faith and the reassurance that you should have. You must have that God will never let you down. As long as you're in the light, you're on the right. Your hands are clean. Your heart is pure. God will take care of you. He will take care of you. I know it. I know it. He will. And he's going to stabilize your foundation. He's here to protect you, to hold you. You know, you don't need to be afraid of anything or anyone. Why? Because God is for you. He's here for you. This is what I'm saying. Is like, with the queen of wands here you know people just want to break your heart the three of swords a lot of backstab a lot of betrayal this is what a lot of these people are planning behind the scene to do to you a queen of wands they want to break your heart they want to bring you down to your knees but god has the final say the hidden god God sees what they're planning in the dark, putting those words in your back, because that's what they're working on. God is here to guard you against any mental troubles. I'm telling you, it's like right in the back, look, the nine of swords. Talk about mental troubles. This is up all night, can't sleep. It's like, oh my goodness guards against mental troubles these people are trying to affect your sleep for some of you you may realize you, you're not sleeping well again this could be confirmation past present or future but it's like you see all these swords heartache heartbreak betrayal this is what is going on in the background wanting you to be up in your head can't sleep and of course they know that if you can't sleep if they're affecting your sleep and all of this stuff sending you all of these things then you can't be productive at your work you won't be able to keep up it's kind of like it's a way to slow you down it will affect your craft. It's going to affect your work. This is why they're doing what they're doing. And again, I love it. The Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is the God-given truth. This is the clarity. This is the yes. The confirmation as to what is going on in the quiet right here. See, the devil. The devil is in the details. What these people are doing, what they're up to. They're up to no good. They're up to no good. This is what they're working on. They're doing the devil's work. They're doing the devil's work. And they think that nobody, look, page of swords. They think nobody's watching. The hidden God, God is watching them. They think nobody's seen them. What they're doing, I'm telling you, seven of ones, you are protected. You see all these dogs out there railing. Your fence, your gate is up. You are protected, my friend. Wow, you are protected. Yeah, that's the swords, the mental conflict. Have you stuck in your head? Unsure of yourself, up at night, can't sleep. It's like torture, mental torture. That's what they're doing. And with the five of cups, here it says prosperity destruction of the enemy and deliverance from any bondage you know knight of pentacles slow and steady win the race slow and steady win the race so for a lot of you god is here to restore everything that the devil stole from you 
He's going to destroy them and he's going to restore your prosperity. Some of you, you may be starting over, but it's like it's not where we start, it's how we finish, right? Yeah, look, the Ace of Wands, this creativity, this passionate new beginning, yes, you're going to be reinvigorated. You're going to feel restored, replenished again. Number one, God is going to turn it around for you. Because again, this is like karma. This is karmic justice. For a lot of you, they were able to keep you down for a long time while they were on the up and up. And now God is turning things around in your favor where you are going to have, see this wand, it's a pencil. You're going to get back to the drawing board. You're going to start back from scratch with this Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, win the race. But I'm telling you, it's like you're going to be this time around. It's like you are, it's not, it's not new to you. You know, it's like, it's true. It's true to you. It's like what you're starting over with from scratch. For example, if you were somebody who just gave away your resources to people, People were able to trick you, take your money, steal from you. You're going to be wiser now because you're starting from scratch again. You're starting all over. Slowly, one by one, you're laying those bricks. And you're going to see how God do it for you. You know, eight of ones. This is coming in quickly. Coming in quickly. And wow, this card is in reverse. Ten of ones. Releasing burdens. Like I said before... It's releasing the burdens of other people. People were able to dump their, their burdens on you. They have all kind of problems. And you were carrying other people's burdens. It's like, now you're finished with that. You're done with that. You're pointing everybody to the cross. Now it's like, go pick up your cross and follow Jesus. It's like, I'm not God, you know. I, I can barely save my soul. It's like, go do you. You know what I mean? It's like, no. You're done with that. Knight of Wands. Again, protection prevents the discovery of secret crimes, saves exile. So if you were outcast, anything that was planned for you in the secret, you know, like the Eight of Swords again here, this is imprisonment. Stuck, trap. Again, see, sword. It's a lot of things that people are chanting, writing, a lot of words. That people are, are sending your way negative energy. People are sending to keep you trapped. To keep you stuck in a, in a spot here. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, you are high priests, high priestesses. You know, talk about the hidden, the, the, the third eye, right? It's like, you know what's been going on. Talk about the moon. You know what's going on in the secret. God reveals everything because see... The five of wands, these people are jealous. It's a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of competition. People are trying to work against you in the background, in the workplace. You know, a lot of pettiness. People want to see you trapped and bound and stuck. But you're protected. You're protected. People wanted you to feel alone, out in exile, by yourself. For some of you, unalive you. Because again, when people are jealous of you, there is no end that they will try to do. Some of them, they could have been using a high priestess. Or I don't even like to call them that name. Wow, but wow. Mm. I just see, I look down, the devil again. So if this person here, ooh, and in the back is the three of pentacles. I'm telling you. You see, this is a high priestess, the devil, and three of pentacles. So clearly, you know, with the five of wands, these people are jealous, envious, competitive in the background here. They could have been using a devil worker. See, collaboration, teamwork. These people are working together. To have you trapped, to have you stuck. Yeah. Could have been run by a king of cups. 
Again, this is somebody who is verbally abusive, a manipulator, somebody who lies, very hateful, very bitter. Again, jealous, angry, everything opposite of good. Yeah, it's like they, they want to cause nine of wands burdens. You are this wounded warrior with the star here. They want to cause burden to a star. But it's like you, you walk away from this. You walk away from this into your abundance, eight of pentacles. Because a lot of you, you are, even though you may be wounded, you know who you are. You are the star. And like I love to say, they cannot stop the star from shining. It's because you're a star. You, you could be in the spotlight. You could be on YouTube. You could be in your community. You're shining in your workplace. They're admiring your qualities. You're getting promotions. You're getting raised. Your boss, your supervisor is speaking highly of you. It could be in your local group or community. You're running for different things. And you're getting those opportunities. And people don't like that. They don't like it. And it's like even though they're adding so much burden to you, you still don't look like what you've been through. Because by the grace of God, you're able to heal yourself. And it's like, no wonder for those who are chosen. It's like God put this ability in us to heal ourselves because he knows the things and the people, places and things that we would come against the opposition. And it's like, we need to be able to doctor ourselves. We need to be able to heal our heart, our wounds, forgive. We don't have to wait for people to come back to say, I'm sorry. You are able to do this. Yes, you may be wounded. Yes, you may be isolated. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You are a star. We are stars. And we're walking away from what no longer serve us. Some of you, it's because you walk away from people. A lot of you, you're just minding your own business. You're working on your craft. You know, and you have these people you know, with the six of pentacles, with the seven of swords, you could have people who want to take from you, steal from you. They want you to give them a handout. You see, with the seven of swords, very sneaky, very a trickster spirit, conniving, manipulator. You see a lot of swords here. People are planning how to use words or they're using words how to get to you. But then we have the Ace of Swords. This is the one that comes from God. This is the one that's from above that God is showing us the truth, giving us the clarity and the confirmation with. This person who may want to take from you may come off as if they're a boss. But really, you know, see, it's like the mask. The mask right there at the bottom is like, this is a, a trickster spirit. They don't have anything going on. They really want somebody to help them. They're a fake emperor. They're abusive, manipulative. Yeah, this person thinks that you're a fool. Again, the Ten of Wands in reverse. A lot of you, you're leaving, letting go of these burdens. They're not yours to carry. Six of Cups, people from the past. These people from the past who want to keep stressing you out or bring you back down to their pig pen to play with them, you don't have time for that. A lot of you, you're successfully closing out those cycles and you're moving on. You're releasing them. You don't have time for the foolishness. It's like you, you're grown or you have grown from that situation. It's like now you learn you learn about people and the things that they're capable of and what they're doing. Yeah, it's like for, for some of these people, I'm telling you, because it's not working out. It's not going to work out. So some of them, they're going to withdraw, quit. Some of them, they're going to come into an awakening, you know, as to who God is. You are going to let people know who God is. Some of these people, they're going to feel rejected because see what they're doing is not working. They're going to have to quit. They're going to have to give up because again, seeing that you're protected, you have divine power 
and the the weapons they formed did not prosper they're gonna have to give up from this vow that they have been taking and doing this witchcraft is like they're gonna have to see that what they've been doing is delusional it's just a lie it was a dream it's a fantasy if they think that they can come against somebody who has self-love this is the thing for a lot of you it's the way you love yourself they don't want you to heal this is why i'm telling you they want to break you bring you back down where you don't love yourself you don't know your worth so they can play in your face they can trick you where they had you like i said where where you they thought you were a fool just because you were kind to these people they took your kindness for weakness and see the trap backfired whatever it is that they've been doing in the dark thinking the hidden eyes god is not seeing them see all these vows they took everything they wanted for you it's now back you know it it, it backfire on them yeah it's like they thought they had it all planned out they were very organized we saw that they team up with with themselves and the devil and other people to work against you this is a collaboration here see third wheel it's a lot of people together you know but here god is here to help you from all whatever disturbance and loneliness these people wanted for you see they were doing rituals to keep you trapped and stuck you a sweetheart these false people see justice is here i'm telling you god never fails for a lot of you you're gonna hear about funerals death is gonna be happening around you and you're gonna be relaxed while they are in prison and confinement for a lot of them until next time take care and be blessed